Hello everyone, welcome to Nubal Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to learn an advanced way to create a liquid animation using CC Particle World in Adobe After Effects. But if you missed the previous tutorial about the same subject and want to check it out, you will find the link in the description below. So let's get started. So after create your composition, let's create a new null object and let's call that path controller. And we're going to animate our path position. So we're going to use it on CC particle. So we want our splashes to start from the middle and then splash this way. So few frames and just that and give it a nice curve and let's easy ease that if nine and so we're going to have something like this for our null so you can see it but we're going to have animation like this so now we're going to create a new solid let's call that particle particles and apply CC particle wall to it. So we're going to have something like this. And so what we're going to do is change the particles to lens convex, going to have something like this. So the idea behind this is we want to create a uh, splashes using the particles. Uh, and so the position of them is followed uh, following the path controller. So we're going to producer and here we can animate the position X, Y, and Z of this particle. But we have one problem is that this particle's positions X, Y, and Z, it's not in pixels. So we, we have no way to pick whip uh, to pick whip like the position let's put that on top and so we have no way as I say to create like a pick whip the position of that like the X and so the particles just don't show up and that because uh, the producer or CC particle is using uh, use a coordinate value based on a ratio of the position to the comps width rather than pixels so it's a little confusing so basically we need to add this width ratio into our expression so in an other way we are going to convert because here we have the pixels we're going to convert this ratio into uh, pixels value so how we are going to do that is by applying expression to this so let's make a variable x equal to and pick whip uh, the, the position x and so we're going to take the x position of the path control so pick whip the x and so we're going to have something like this and then minus um, minus this comp dot width divided by two. So we're going to need parentheses for this. And then semicolon. And then x divide by this comp dot width. So we're going to have something like this. If you see like the the particles jammed, so it's actual on X, it's following, following the null. So we're going to do the same thing for the Y. Just copy that and add expression to the Y and paste that there. We just need to do some changing just let's uh, for organizing let's change that to y and this to y just the uh, variables and here we're going to 
instead of zero, we're going to put one because zero is X and one is Y. And instead of this comp width, we're going to put height instead. And that's all you need to do. And you see the particle motion, you see the guides like the motion path, take our same uh, null path. So this is very good way to attach it. So our particles is following the path, but there's so many particles. So we are just going to do some tweaks to our uh, particles. First, we're going to animate the birth rate. So we're going to put that at zero and few frames and put that to 0 0.5 and copy that keyframe and paste it. Copy this keyframe of the burn rate and just paste it here and then put it back to zero. And so you see about you you see we have the particles uh, so far away from each other. So on physics Velocity, we're going to put that maybe something like this. So we have this uh, velocity to not let the particles move away. And for the gravity, we're going to put that maybe 0 0.02. And the nice thing about this, it's like give it some, uh, like you see, it's going but there is some gravity to it if you want if you don't want you can put that to zero and for resistance we're going to give it maybe 0 0.6 and animation let's change that to con axis and so we can change the angle and the extra there so as you see we have something like this let's preview this and so we can do more to this. So on particle, let's uh, put size variation to 100 and max opacity to 100. So we have something like this. And on this size, put that to zero. So they go smaller. So they die. So we have something like this. Let's preview again. Okay, so for now we have our particle, the first one is created. So what we're going to do is duplicate this one, hit S for scale and N link the XY and put minus 100 to flip this one. So we have something like this and duplicate it one more time. And so this time what we're going to do on the third one on producer we're just going to take the x we don't we're going to put it at zero so it's in the middle so the splashes look like this and we can do some variation to that so three of them we're going to create some variations so they don't look similar. Okay, so we have something like this. And so what we're going to do is before making it look real like wire, we're going to uh, add some like big wires uh, splashes. And we're going to do that by using the, the basic uh, way we saw in the previous tutorial by creating a shape layer just double double click here and delete the rectangle and let's create uh, let's solve this first and let's create a path and so on path we want to use the same path we have here. So P and just copy this and paste it here. 
So as you see, we have our pad just jump there. Let's put it somewhere there. And we're going to add stroke. And on stroke, let's give it something like that and make it round cap and add a trim path. So we're going to animate the start and the end, put that to zero and maybe 25. Let's put those to 100 and offset the last one. So we have something like this. Let's put that bigger here. Let's easy ease those keyframes and animate the stroke width as well. So maybe here we have the stroke width to maybe 50. And here make it bigger somehow and that's too close, more big then put it to maybe 80 so something like this is going to happen let's easy ease all those keyframes so let's see what we have here we have something like this and so what we're going to do is add in a wiggle path to this and we can leave it as it is or give it some variation, we will go back to this layer. So let's call this shape one and duplicate it and rename it to mask. And then what we have, we have two shapes and we're going to offset this one, the whole layer. So we have something like this, offset it. And we are going to I'll uh, uh, track man and put that to alpha invert map. So we have something like this. And so on mask, we're going to apply turbulence. Going to apply turbulence displacement. So on turbulence, it's the size big. So we're going to have something like this. These weird things that happen at the end, it's from actually from the wiggle pad. So maybe okay. So we're going to duplicate this two, control D and doing the same thing, hit S and link that and put it to minus both of them so we have something like this and duplicate it one more time and this time what we're going to do is just go into content and the path and just delete that path and create a new one and create one in the middle here and put it at first copy this and paste it on mask 3 Delete the old one and paste it. So we have something like this. So this one need to be on top here. And let's just change that. Okay, we have something like this. And let's save them all together. So it look a little bit messy. So now let's create a new adjustment layer and let's call that effects and apply it roughen edges. And on roughen edges, let's put this around 30 and and so we start seeing something's happening here. And so on scale, let's put that maybe around 200. So we have something soft. And 
let's animate evolution time maybe 200 and let's change the stretch width or height something around there let's preview and see what we have so we have something like this and so we're going to add turbulence displacement again and so let's give that maybe 10 and 50 to the size so we see what's happening and again animate evolution hit time be 400 so we have something like this maybe we need to adjust this last one okay and the mask too and on particles we actually as you see if we go to the path controller and change that here let's see what's happened so as you see you can change the path or reanimate it and you see how those splashes react to each other with all of them reacting there and one more thing you can add a uh, bevel alpha to the effects to give it uh, some lightning like a depth light depth to this let's put the bevel alpha before turbulence displace and you will see what is going to happen here like adding light to our uh, liquid and you can have light intensity how much you want that and direction of that light so just put a subtle effect there if you want to to give it some you know some lightning and it's that's how it's going to look look like let's preview this so this was the story of today hope it was very useful for you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe for more adobe after effects tutorials coming soon thank you for watching